and just give. I really don't even just give. Today we're going to show a little bit of love and extra care to some animals, like horses, pigs, and goats. We are here at the Hoof Prince Farm to, to show our appreciation to different animals. Here is the owner of this farm, Christian. Tell us a little bit about the farm. Well, thanks very much for coming on out. Hoof Prince Barnyard started in April of 2015. And it was started as a way to get our children back in touch with nature, um, to instill empathy and compassion for animals, and uh, really to get us back outside and off of our technology and getting in touch with some good old country fun with animals and country games and quality family um, time. Well, let's get it on up and get to it! So this is Hope and Olivia, our two potbelly pigs, and Olivia is 10 months, the smaller one. Hope is about two years old now, and Hope originally came to us um, to stay while uh, her owner was having some um, treatment for cancer, which is now all healed up, but she loves it here so much that she gets to stay. So she's uh, a funny, funny potbelly pig. and he's so soft. Feels much different than a goat. Oh, wow. And this goat coming to say hi to us Ooh. is Maisie. And Maisie's a sil silky fainting goat. Uh, fainting goats originated many, many years ago and it was a gene bred into them by goat herders. Um, and what would happen is they'd have a few fainting goats in their herd and if there was a predatory attack, the rest of the herd would escape and the fainting goats would be sacrificed. my friend Gabe. What is it like to work on a farm, Gabe? It's fun, but it's a lot of work. Every single day we have to clean out the stalls. is teaching kids how to just give. You too can just give to Hope Prince Barnyard. Bye. Bye! It was such a great day today having Lydia and Adoni come out and help us at Hoof Prince Barnyard. We rely solely on volunteers coming out and helping us make this business work. We are open on Monday to Saturday for private events only, field trips, birthday parties, special events, and Sunday to the public from 10 till 4. Only on Sundays can you come by and visit our animals as a drop-in, and that keeps the animals happy and healthy. Also, remember, if you're going to take the responsibility on of owning a pet, it is up to you to ensure that they're cared for, fed properly, and receive any veterinary care that they may need through their lifespan. Look forward to seeing you here at Hoof Prince Barnyard one day soon. <laughs> We're at Hoof Prince Farm today, and this is the owner, Christian. Tell us a little bit about the farm, Christian. We're here at the Hoof Prince Farm to show our appreciation to animals. Here's Christian. Tell us a little bit about the farm, Christian. Oh, Christian. <laughs> and we are here at the Hoof Prince. We are here at the Hoof Prince Farm to show our appreciation to animals. I introducing Christian, the owner of the farm. <laughs> <laughs> 